the transition from novel to stage play comes from, I, I think, knowing the source material very well. And so um, getting to know the world that the author is trying to create. Um, so I read all around Hardy. I read all, uh, a lot of Hardy. I knew in this particular case, I knew the, the work very well. And um, I sort of immerse myself in that world because obviously uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to have to invent um, that's not written in dialogue within the, the, the book itself. So uh, I have to end up being able to write like him. So I uh, go down there, I, I visit the locations, I um, uh, become quite indulgent and, and just uh, immerse myself in that world. And then there's the translation process of what sort of style you're going to use. And for me, that's a collaborative process with the uh, director and producer and uh, designers. And we all work together on both, I don't want to say limitations, but the challenges of the production. I'm very, very strict. Other adaptations as well. When, so, when, I, when I'm watching a, a, a film or something, um, I think Coppola said, steal from the best. But um, I'm. I remember I was adapting John Fowles as the collector, and there was a wonderful line in the film, and I couldn't use it because it wasn't in the book. And, I, and the director was going, oh, I'll stick it in, it doesn't matter, no one will know. And I was like, no, we can't. It's got to be either mine or Hardy's.